Welcome to this technology demonstration. My name is Everett Elam and I teach the Assistive Technology Instructor course for the online program. And this is a demonstration of the SUNU band, which is a wearable mobility aid. A wearable mobility aid is something that you wear on your body, be it your wrist or your, your collar, and it's up, it complements a white cane or a guide dog. So it's not a replacement for them, but it does complement them. The Sunu Band is a smart watch which is rectangular in shape. It goes around the wrist that you're not using your cane or dog with. So in my case, I use my cane with my right hand, so it's going to go around my left hand. Uh, we'll start with the um, right side of the watch and move to the left. So this is, uh, it has a wristband and then it has a uh, sonar detector which is very knob shaped it sticks out quite a bit from the watch then we have the touch pad which is very rough um very bumpy and you have two two swipes you can swipe in towards the sonar detector and then out away from it to switch it from indoor to outdoor mode then you have your navigation button which works in conjunction with your phone to do um different things with the apps that come with sunu and then you have your home button, which is smooth. So on the back of the watch of the Sunu band, on the area furthest away from the sonar detector is a charging port. And you can use a micro USB cable to charge the Sunu band. You can use a wall charger or you can use your computer. And by wall charger, I mean a standard um, phone, phone charging adapter that goes into the wall. So let's look at how the Sunu detects obstacles outdoors. So I live out in the country, so I'm going to start heading towards a tree that I know is here. And the Sunu is pulsing. I'm about 15 feet away, and it's pulsing about once a second. As it gets closer and closer, I get longer and steadier pulses. Now whenever I'm about three or four feet away, I get a long steady vibration and that's a, a great way to tell that you're about to run into something. So I'm standing in the kitchen and I've got the Sunu band switched to indoor mode. There's a piece of furniture in front of me. I don't know where it is. It's like that old joke, how did the blind guy's wife get back at him? She rearranged the furniture. So I'm going to step forward and we're going to try to find his chair. Okay, I'm getting some pulses, not enough to be alarmed yet. Stepping forward. Oh, they're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. Oh, there it is. And I'm getting a long, steady pulse now. So we found the chair and we didn't die. So these are my thoughts, having used the Sunu band for a few days now. Uh, the first is that it is a little bulky with the, the knob sticking up from your wrist here. Um, it doesn't bother me, but for someone who's interested in, in fashion and kind of looking like the rest of the crowd, that, that might be a drawback, but it wasn't, it wasn't for me. Um, the price point is below $300. Um, that's a pretty solid price point for a smartwatch. It's cheap. It's pretty cheap. Um, so I prefer the outside obstacle detection over the indoor. Um, I had to keep my wrist pretty straight for it to detect things, and I found that it was very easy in noisy environments to detect um, out, outside obstacles. Um, but the indoors obstacles, I'm usually not using a cane in, indoors or around the house or at stores. And when I did, it was honestly a little, a little bit repetitive. Um, the compass and the pedometer options are really great for pairing with your, pairing with your phone. Um, but that, again, and that's beyond the scope of, of this video. So we want to thank uh, Diego Mendoza and Sunu for allowing us to present this to the course. And we do look forward to hearing what Sunu has to offer in the future. The code for w World Services for the Blind 
clients purchasing the SUMU band, we do get a discount, and that is available in the comments.